All right, we're at Bucks and Bulls Archery this morning. I got Jake up here. Um, he's dressed similar to where he's hoping it gets warm enough to wear lighter clothes. <laughs> the, so what we're gonna do, we set up a ground blind in the range and he's dressed like he's gonna hunt. We're gonna sit down in the blind, shoot a broadhead with the arrow we're gonna use hunting and a lighted knock, cause that's what he's gonna use. And then we're just gonna practice shooting, make sure you got clearance through the window, make sure you can draw back sitting down and uh, yeah, it's really important to sight in with a broadhead and a lighted knock if that's what you're gonna use. Sight in with what you're gonna use, practice exactly how you're gonna hunt. We even have a turkey target. You think you can hit it? I think so. One thing I'll mention, for turkey hunting, since you'll be sitting down a lot and you want minimal movement, um, I have my bow turned down compared to what I would use for deer hunting. And I, love, I know a lot of other people do that too. Um, because it's just, it's harder to do it with sitting down and you want to do it slowly and quietly. And uh, nicer, slower draws. So. Yeah. yeah. And you don't need 60 or 70 pounds to kill a turkey. Yeah. Probably 40. <laughs> yeah, not much. And uh, what we're going to use is a fixed blade broadhead. I kind of like the fixed blade broadhead for turkeys because when you got all the feathers and the wings, feathers that are really hard, it kind of separates them as it goes through. And mm -hmm. it, I don't know, it makes a path for the arrow to get into the bird. And to me, the big expandable ones, sometimes they don't penetrate enough because they gotta cut so many feathers to get in. Mm -hmm. I heard some horror stories about that anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try, you can go in a blind and sit down, draw back a couple times, make sure everything's good. So when, when he gets out there on his first day of turkey season in the dark, he'll know that he's already done all this and he knows everything's gonna work before he gets out there. Come on. So I'm in here in the turkey blind. A couple things I want to point out. I have a large enough blind that I'll be able to draw back and I won't be hitting anything in the blind. These blinds come in different shapes and sizes and everything. So if you're going to be bow hunting, keep that in mind. That's going to be large enough that you'll be able to draw back fully and not hit anything with your back elbow, with your bow, with your stabilizers, whatever. So I would keep that in mind. Second thing I like when I bow hunt out of a blind is I like these vertical windows. And the reason I like that is because your bow is mostly vertical and again you have stabilizers and sights and the arrow itself and everything and you can stick that out a lot easier um, than those rectangle windows and uh, these are a little bit smaller so you can kind of conceal yourself a little more than um, with those big rectangle windows that are that can sometimes be you either have them open or you don't have them open and you can let in a lot of light. Um, so I like these smaller ones to keep concealed. Second thing I want to point out, there's windows on all four sides of this blind. When you're in the blind, you want the windows behind you to be closed. And the reason you want that to be the case is because you don't want sunlight sneaking in the back and it'll actually silhouette you and you'll look like a big shadow. And so if you're moving in here and you're, you're crossing the path of that window, the turkeys are gonna be able to see that they'll recognize it as movement and they'll probably not come in. And then the last thing you wanna do when you're getting set up here in the blind, you wanna make sure you know the distance to your decoys. Take out a range finder if you don't have one. When you set up the decoys, just pace it off and count your paces. But you wanna make sure you know your distance because in the heat of the moment, if you can't change your sight, if you have a single pin or a multi-pin, if you can't range the distance, you'll at least know the distance to your decoys and then if the turkey is closer or further than that, you can at least take a pretty educated guess and hopefully have some luck with, with your guess there.
with the turkey there's really two spots that people um, will aim at to shoot. One will be the head neck area and the other would be the vitals. Now with the head and neck um, you can shoot a standard hunting blade at it, um, either the fixed blade or the mechanicals, but they do also make specific uh, broadheads meant for neck and head shots. They're a lot larger. They're like two to three inches in diameter. Um, we do have a few of those at the shop here. But for a lot of people, the vitals is where they'll be aiming. Um, and now on the vitals, with a, with a deer and many other four-legged animals, you want to stay low on them because that's where their heart is um, and a lot of their vitals. So you want to shoot them low. However, on turkeys, you actually want to shoot them high. Their vitals run up towards the top of their back. That's where their lungs, their heart are. And then on top of that, you also have their spine. So there's a saying, uh, shoot them high, watch them die. Shoot them low, watch them go. And so you definitely want to stay high on a turkey. And the reason is because their vitals are hanging up here along with their spinal cord. And down here is just a bunch of feathers and breast meat and everything. So if you shoot them low down here, uh, they're probably gonna run off and maybe survive, maybe not, but uh, you'll have a hard time tracking them and finding them. So stay high on the turkey's body or aim for the neck and head region and you'll be good to go. Hi, I'm Gary and this is Bucks and Bulls Archery. Come in and shoot and try any of the top of the line archery equipment in the industry. We are your number one archery ranger in Stevens Point. Try before you buy so you can hit where you're aiming. Here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, 3296 Church Street, Stevens Point. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle and the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. This mineral is a game changer. I've put the odds in my favor. It's time to close the deal. I wouldn't change a thing. Finally, the buck of a lifetime. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Today's closed captioning provided by Bucks and Bulls Archery, located at 3296 Church Street in Stevens Point. We came out of the blind here to show you some things with crossbow shooting if you're gonna do that for turkey hunting. Um, one thing we have here is a crossbow stand that we sell at the shop. It holds your crossbow in a vertical position so that it keeps it out of the, the mud, the grass, the muck, whatever you're going to be hunting in. Um, but it keeps that elevated so your limbs aren't getting dirty or possibly even your broadhead is catching on the grass or getting muddy and um, could throw off the arrow flight, whatever. So this crossbow stand is a must when you're in the, in the blind and it helps keep it right at a ready position. I can grab it like this pull it up and I'm ready to shoot. Second thing we would highly suggest is a shooting stick. This one here is very compact, it's collapsible. You can screw this, slide it down, pull it out so you can pack it in very easily. Um, fits in your backpack, whatever it may be. And then it also is flexible so you can shoot it actually at different angles. You can hold it off of your body and you can shoot at different angles. You can hold it off of your chair and again, shoot it at different angles. So with the combination of the crossbow stand and the crossbow rest, you'll be ready to go in the turkey woods. Okay, we moved out of the range, we're back here in the store. We're gonna to talk to you a little bit about turkey decoys here and the different kinds and how to use them. 
The first one, uh, actually two of them that we have here is the Jake Perfect and the Miss Perfect from Montana Decoys. They're collapsible decoys. They work well together. You can have um, the Jake and the Hen sitting out in your decoy spread together and hopefully it'll tempt that big old Tom to come in, beat up the Jake, run him off, and now he's got his lady with him. Uh, the second one here is the Funky Chicken. That one is, um, again, a male decoy, um, but it's shaped a little differently and it's supposed to uh, make the turkeys um, really curious and want to come in and, and check it out. The last one here is from Montana Decoy as well. It's the Fanatic XL. This one is um, about a three foot wide turkey fan. And this is used for the people who want to um, crawl through the fields uh, and get really close and personal uh, with the Tom Turkey. Um, it's called Turkey Reaping. And you basically just hold this fan out in front of you. You crawl behind it, sneaking closer. And it's supposed to really aggravate that Tom and get him to come in towards you uh, for a really close shot. And it sounds like it's pretty exciting as well. When we were talking about shot placement in the range, we talked about a couple different broadheads. The one that was used for head and neck shots only is this one right here. It's called the Tom Bomb. And it's got three large blades that have a very large cutting diameter. And that's so you can have a little bit of room for error when you're going for those neck and head shots. Now, when you do use that broadhead, you want to make sure you have large feathers on the back end of the arrow. That'll help steer those blades properly. The small two inch blazers probably won't work as well as larger five inch feathers, or you can even shoot these flu flu feathers um, from Carbon Express as well. And these are very, very large feathers. It's gonna help steer that broadhead a lot better. You'll have a lot more accurate shots out to 20 yards and maybe even further. Going back to practicing before you head out to the field with the setup you'll be using, if you're going to decide to use these tom bombs here, you're going to want to make sure that your arrow is sitting in this rest properly to where those large blades are not hitting your sight or hitting your bow itself or your fingers if, you're, if your fingers are out there. So as you can see, there's some instances where this may hit the sight or if your arrow is too short, it may hit your bow as well. And so there's ways to get around it. Um, you could either just rotate the blade differently and then you'll have some better clearance. You could just buy a longer arrow or possibly even move your sight up or down and still be able to shoot at the distances you want to shoot at. Welcome to Frank's Hardware. Family owned and operated since the 1940s. Frank's Hardware on Highway 10 East in Stevens Point not only has all of your general hardware supplies but specializes in a wide variety of products meeting all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and all HVAC needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we also can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a large variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point today. Not only do we have great products, but we got great service. Thank you, TJ. No problem, Harold. Come on, come on. Hi, I'm Gary, and this is Bucks and Bulls Archery. Come in and shoot and try any of the top of the line archery equipment in the industry. We are your number one archery range in Stevens Point. Try before you buy so you can hit where you're aiming. Here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, 3296 Church Street, Stevens Point. G2 Seeds. The results speak for themselves.
That's where the shot's gonna be if these birds come. That's good. Megan, can you see the turkeys up on the cornfield? The there, Megan. See them way out there. Right where the gun is pointing. Unfortunately, these toms stayed just out of range, so we couldn't get a shot at them. Lucky for us, we have another day and a half to get after a bird. So with one last desperation call from Johnny, we decide to pack it up and come back this afternoon. After a quick lunch, Megan was ready to head right back into the blind, especially after a great morning. With the weather getting better, it could only mean good things for us.
things. Don't put that in your mouth, though. It's all slimy, honey. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any birds in before dark tonight, so we decided to sneak out before the turkeys came all the way back to roost and reposition ourselves for tomorrow. Stay tuned because coming up later is day two of our hunt with Megan. Welcome well, to Frank's Hardware, family owned and operated since the 1940s. Frank's Hardware on Highway 10 East in Stevens Point not only has all of your general hardware supplies, but specializes in a wide variety of products, meeting all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and all HVAC needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we also can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a large variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point today. Not only do we have great products, but we got great service. Thank you, TJ. No problem, Harold. Come on, Turbo. Hi, I'm Gary, and this is Bucks and Bulls Archery. Come in and shoot and try any of the top of the line archery equipment in the industry. We are your number one archery range in Stevens Point. Try before you buy so you can hit where you're aiming. Here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, 3296 Church Street, Stevens Point. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Today's closed captioning provided by Bucks and Bulls Archery, located at 3296 Church Street in Stevens Point. And now we're back to day two of turkey hunting with Megan at this year's USSA Turkey Hunt. Since these birds weren't cooperating and wouldn't come any closer, we decided to pack up and go grab some lunch and get ready for the evening sit. While back at the pumpkin patch, Big John was getting his hair cut due to the amount of birds the hunters harvested. He always makes a deal with them every year and seems to always lose, which in our case is a good thing. So after a quick lunch, we get our gear back together and head out for one last sit on Sunday evening of this year's 2016 USSA turkey hunt, hoping that we can get one time to come in. This afternoon we decided to move our blind back into where we were seeing the roost in hopes if we couldn't draw a single tom by us that we could get the whole flock to come by sometime before dark. Because as you saw this morning, there were a ton of birds in here and plenty of toms. So it's only a matter of time before we can get one to come in.
After sitting for a few hours and not getting much sign of birds around us, we were getting a little discouraged. But then suddenly, this big tom showed up about 200 yards away up on the field and came right into Johnny's calls. Called, sweetie. Where do you shoot them? Where do you shoot them? Right now. The, Where'd they tell you to shoot them? Right, right in the strawberries. strawberries. <laughs> Look how pretty he is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, careful. Get down. See how pretty he is? What do you say to John? You're gonna make me cry, honey. <laughs> successful year for us in the group here in Junction City participating in the USSA turkey hunt. Congratulations again to Megan for sticking it out two full days and harvesting this big tom last minute on Sunday night. I know Johnny's already making big plans for next year, so until then, thanks for watching.